Reem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. You make me throw here. Your equipment will be safe. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuben, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of swiping loot. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassin! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Damn it. 
Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zeret. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aim to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know? But then, who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Sun? Find me first. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk in private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, 
Someone's behind Horton's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agreeing from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So care for what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his old mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. Are you serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. Bastard shark, get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. He's got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. 
Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. so kind as to follow me. Stop that! Now! Bart! Bart! Bart make Ziggy lose judgment! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart hurt! Bart less thinky! Bart less thinky! Bart sadness! Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have... Uh, the gold wasn't mine. For reasons that should be... Up How do you know you can... I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Beat you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well... Um, what about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No. But I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewer. Bart, do you see them? Bart, through hole. Now, now. Boom. Boom! I'll elaborate. Explosion, big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. 
Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox Fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell just you got yourself into? The side blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Pipes great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. It's a pipe trace of magic. Here. This was no and spell. Powerful it was blast. a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Shouldn't go any further without taking that antidote. Through that. Hard to breathe. <coughs> the transpositions were vile. Damn it, can't breathe. Gotta get out while I can. Drowners. Of course. How you like that silver? Shit.
Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Another trinket. Dried. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Yet Eat another shiny the corpses. Bubble. Otherwise, Draners will never stop congregating. There. Maybe now the Draners will go feed elsewhere. Ah, uh, that stench. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. A minute. I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally.
Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bomb of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the suit. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Spike, Brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that? You mean? Old Cook's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the breaking. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuben. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel, you saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. 
Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night whole son tried to kill me? Good chance on it. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt a bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you. Not ever. No. No. I know nothing. Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around whole son's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win win situation as I see it. Orson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot headed and I like him like that. Wanna rein them in? Do so on your own. All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. birth here. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Secret room. Probably where 
Dandelion and his cohort planned the heist. Siri, Nanga is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one kelp stain. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Trace. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Mm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who's been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. It suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. Your party the week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... Nah, that's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not.
But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. Thanks. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. You mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles, put them on me. Tris, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Siri, too. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will, and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I wanna thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you knew coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right.
What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Call me Ned. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners to sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches? They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore, and you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? Maybe, but for now she's my whore, and I say you can't insult her. Funny you feel that way, but so be it. Now, Philippa. Talk. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. Torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. What? The Horsen's casting spells. Get him! Not your lucky day.
Chris could not help Garrow, yet she did direct him to Corrine Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Corrine Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. If you can't, you don't set. You won't get there. Fuck. What? No. Don't you. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This Witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can claim that. You'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Tell your boys to leave Triss alone first. Not a chance. The bitch must howl. I've tried to be polite. You just won't let me. Guards! In here!
Chris could not help Garrett, yet she did direct him to Corrine Tilly, an O'Neiromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Corrine Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Unless that anyone will <laughs> is that ever not in the mood. You two choice. Sedaria. A 1260. Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, it's immediately... But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This? Little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Marigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Oh! Bit, bit me! Oh, the big bite! Let's put a collar on it. Dimericium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. 
Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I've a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructed spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fares. It's Going suspiciously quiet in there. Come. I should tend to your wounds. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle. Dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Menga gave the order. In person. Shit. I'm sorry. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable, and Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Could you revive him? Maybe, if I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunk him that low just yet. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived. 
It almost cost me my life. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Voodoo Biblevelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he'd seen more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Voodoo's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Go out another way, or ready my sword. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. You there, Mr. Reuben wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault. Found it on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. They've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abuse my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever.
I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Doodoo. -doo. So you must find Doodoo -doo in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri? Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. Gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Take care now. Nothing interesting here. Greetings. Ah, you're Reuben's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. You in charge here? What's it to you? Looking for Junior. Ah, welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. Know where I can find him? Nope. Bloody you just came here, polite and a... I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you.
scores were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Nothing interesting here. Greetings. Got a meeting with Rosa, a fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's going to be an interesting lesson. Thanks. I know you, not letting you in, but don't you fucking stand there. Sure we can't work this out? How's that? I pay you, you let me in. Uh, give it here. Get in. And remember, we've an eye on you. Who runs the fights? Igor. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I can be of use. Junior could take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep healthy. That's my advice. Not your hiring. Won't take your orders. Don't need your advice. You're not my hireling, that's true. But so uppity. Afraid you need to die. Kill him.
Tris could not help Garrett, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. I need walking you good with a sword. And who? Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's got to keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience. I'm a witcher. I kill monsters for coin. Been doing it all my life. Humans won't be a problem. A guard must fight sometimes, but that's not most important. The essential question is, can you control yourself? And can you control a crowd? Been taught how to slow down or speed up my heart rate, how to dilate my pupils and alter my metabolism. My medallion vibrates when danger's near, and I know a few simple spells. Hmm, I'll have to test you. I want to see how you manage in a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Ready your purses. The jig is open. From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water. Mutant. His opponent, Gustav Rohn, a man who cut his way out of his mother's womb with a knife. As ever, a fight to the death. I will not kill him. Release the hounds! The Witcher wins! Next fight! Born brawlers in battle! A fracas, a rumpus, a fray! The Witcher versus the Hairy Brothers, straight from the wall! wins again! Next fight! The Witcher doing what he does best! Face to face with beasts!
Show me what you got. Another win for the Witcher! Bravo! Plowing Scrag the Borough. They told me a two bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Muster the men and get out those midgets. And will someone please kill the blasted witcher? You heard the man, kill him! Not your lucky day.
worn by a moving door, something behind this wall. I wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. So long. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit's out of luck. Think we can make a deal? Hear that? No, we don't make it. How much? Oi, remember, just wait. On your way. Can't go in. Gonna get in there. And if we don't? I'll kill you. Do you get that? Got it all right. Die, you. Shut up.
should look around. screaming downstairs it's all right now will you help me what's your name rico rico mayersdorf why are you here uh, what's it look like i came here to sit and think God. it's all right clever and tough not working for me they took me for one of bedlam's moles are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Don't trust you an inch. I told you all I know, I, I swear. You'll have to stay a bit longer. No, please. Think about it. It's not too late, hear me? Change your... Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle. Bedlam will learn you help me. See ya. Be sure to... Thanks. Come again. Hey, hey, boy. What do I got to do? Oh, you got to do it. Oh, you got to do it. Greek for me. Taint a man. Then, mate.
to. What do you want? Wiley, Orson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Orson's neck deep in shit. So it seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the big four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redaniums. I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell. Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least.